Hello, everybody. It's me, Linda Lee. I have had so many new people join my um, website. So I decided that I would uh, make this brief video. Thank you all for joining me in this video. And um, invite the council in to see if there are any messages that they would like to convey at this time for those that have chosen to follow me. This is my work room and guest room. Um, I'm fortunate. I've been blessed. I look out over a very nice lake. Yes, it's a man-made lake. I'm in Florida. But, however, it has the energy of Mother Earth in it, and I enjoy looking at it and sharing the energy with the lake. So that's why I chose to make this room my little work room when guests are not here. So, with that being said, and uh, giving you an opportunity to... Oh, notes. Um, to look at my workspace, feel the energy that's in the workspace. So when you are um, on my website and you're viewing my blog or you're trying to learn a little bit more about me, this will also be available. So once I post it as a blog, a video blog, um, all of you that have recently joined the website uh, we'll be getting this, um, as well as the um, other ones that have been here for a while. So, I um, have been a little derelict uh, with the website, with everything that's going on and the energies up and down and going crazy. Um, I have found it better just to draw within myself and my husband. And that has suited me well. So, I apologize for my neglect. I do and I don't. I don't feel like I need to apologize for my neglect, but I am. Okay, <laughs> you guys get it, right? All right, okay. That's okay. So, um, I'm gonna take a couple deep breaths and I'm gonna see if the council will come in and see if they have any message that they would like to deliver. <laughs> And then I will also um, share some light language uh, with everybody before I sign off. These are troubling times, yes, within Earth's space. Do not think this affects only planet Earth. This affects also the universe. We feel the energy of sorrow and fear resonate around the earth as so many who are not awakened are trampling through this fear and this energy of fear. By not grasping hold of the fact that you have come here that you have chosen, your soul has chosen to be here at this time in 2020. Not only to experience these things that are happening on planet Earth, for which you had insight before you chose to come. Bear not fear, for this was a choice. You could see all that is unfolding, why it is unfolding, how it is unfolding, and the purpose for it before you came. So one should set aside all things that bring on fear. So what the council asks of you at this time is to allow your light to shine, as Linda has posted many times. Step away from the division of 
the souls. Separate yourself for those things that are unfolding that your soul is aware of. Allow your light to shine. Allow your light to uplift others. For this is why you are here at this time. The role that you are playing is magnificent. The role that you are playing has purpose beyond the comprehension of your human mind. But bear in mind, not your soul. Let us bring to you through this message comfort that the choices that you have made to be here has its purpose. Allow your sweet, loving energy to impale earth to its deepest depths, for in there lies your security of choice. As you all know, there are no possibilities that you did not make the choice to be here. No mistakes have been made. The earth currently is covered by more of the awaken than those sleeping in the dark. As you continue on your journey that you chose, your energy will continue to touch others, encouraging others to go within, encouraging others to seek out their heart space, encouraging others to allow their heart to open, allowing others and encourage them to allow their personal instinct, gut feelings, guide them. For that is your soul speaking to you. You know when there are untruths being shown. You know when there are untruths being spoken. Don't bother with the categorization of those things, for they Hold fear. Pray for all of those who step forward cultivating that fear, for they too are of the I am as you and we are. They are playing their part that they came here to play. And it all is purposeful. Pray for them. Enlighten them, lift them, encourage them, cradle them, and most importantly, send them love. And even thanks for those that we have learned the best lessons from are those that delivered our human pain. As we step back from that pain, we see that which we learned. That is love. This force is teaching us love. Separate yourself from the discernment of fear, the discernment of jobs being done by others that are not understood. It is not our place to judge. It's our place to love. Let your heart swell with the love of that which is I am. Together all, no matter what we hold, is all part of the I am. With this we send you grace, we send you love. We also want you to know that we are there to support you. 
that we surround you at all times, that one must only ask to communicate with us because we too are the light, just as you are the light. Wow, that was a nice message. It speaks of many of the things and many of the thoughts that I've had, and I'm sure that it's also speaking to um, many of you that are sitting on fences, not knowing which direction to go. The thing that has cradled me through all of this is what a point that they brought out. And I will be honest with you. I'm not sure my own personal human filter is filtering anything. I don't feel like they're filtering anything, that it's filtering anything that's coming through from the council. But again, I'm only human. But the one thing that they do say is the one thing that I have embraced all along. And yes, I'm human, I lose sight of it occasionally. And I have to remind myself, I chose to be here right now. At this time, this day, this hour, this minute. And so did you. You're loved, you're protected. Many angels have gone home. Those that have lost their lives to this atrocity that's going on chose. They chose when to end their lives. They chose how to end their lives. And they also chose, chose by the purpose of what that would bring to humanity, as well as loved ones. Just like those who, who, who chose to be a part of 9-11 and other great catastrophes that we have lived through in this lifetime that we are now in. The souls chose to play the part that they played. They chose that to be their exit point. So for all of those that have lost their lives during this time, I send great love to. I send love to their soul because they are in soul. They are in soul spirit. And his soul, or out of soul and into spirit. Correct myself. But I give great thanks to them because they too played the part that we all are playing right now that we needed to see and to experience. This is great great time for going within ourselves and seeing our own personal greatness. Seeing what it is that we, or why we may have chosen to be here now at this time. It's a great love, a great love. that I see and that I feel. We've, we've come to realize just how important our immediate families are to us. We've come to know what it's like not to hug the one that we love. Therefore, renewing unconditional love and renewing that understanding of that love. Realizing that we are love. That we not only give love, but we need love. And the greatest gift, all those have gone before us or experienced that unconditional love, that overwhelming, powerful love that everybody who's had near-death experiences teach us about. The love that is so thick and heavy that it saturates every morsel of that energy cell that crosses over into the afterlife.
and that which we need more of here. And that is what we need to share. And now we understand more. We've been given the opportunity to see our lives. And with that, I will thank you once again for deciding to join my Facebook website. My Facebook and my website, I'm sorry. And I look forward to hearing from anybody who would like to contact me. You can do that by contacting me at the link below. Love you guys. Bye. I forgot to attach the love language. Love language. <laughs> That's funny. I never called it that before. Hmm. I wonder what that purpose is. My light language, speaking in tongues, soul language, language of the heart. So, this little snippet. I will deliver to you the light language from the council. Bihu si ham kusi ti ko tampi loko si am. Itu ko si am, itu li am, li ko ti apo ti am. E la kuti am behe to ko la ham bare ho. Le ha kuti am bari la kuti ala he tu. Heim ba ku tan ba ku heim ba kuti ham hu. E la kuti am ba ho. Ham Bahala Ho E Ho He Ho He Ho Ti An Ti Ho Te Ho Te Am Ai O He Ha Ti O Ha He La Ho E O Nahali la ho hi la ha hi ho Nahali ti ho Nahali ti ho Ke ka la pi la hu la hi hi la ho ho la ho li hi E hi ni li hi ni hi Sikala, de se kala mo kiti shiham. La hu kiti ahu ga hi ka sahama. La hi la hu hi ka ha. Se ke la mo ko ho yam. De he la ma kai u si am. De he la a ai tu ko ita hi am. De si di am ma ka la ba ko te ama ya Yesu sham. Lai shia ma la kui shia ma la haia la baku ti ati le hi a do dia sa mo ko te si le a baka la baki a tu i a tu ko si a ma ne aia su ko ne hi sa ha ma la hai ti ke a tu ko. Thank you.